Hi guys, Bets Golden here. I'm going to do an unboxing for you, though it is of something I ordered. Um, I haven't seen this stuff in the stores yet, hence why I ordered it, and I've been looking for like three months. So I thought I would order it, and it came really quick. I think I ordered it on Thursday, and it was Easter weekend, and it came today. So I'm going to unbox it for you. I apologize for um, my dominoes that are off to the side, but I'm working on those, and some of them are wet, and I can't move them. And... Um, but I wanted to open my box because I have no patience. Anyway, this is from the Funky Junkie Boutique. I discovered this kind of um, randomly. This this It's a really great store. It was in some group on Facebook, and I was looking for, I believe, this line, the Dilution Diary line, and some of the new Tim Holtz oxidized ink, and every place that had it was sold out or they didn't have the full line um, and this is the one place that did and I've ordered from them twice now this is I think my third order very very impressed with this little store um, they're fast and their prices are good like really really good they're competitive and they always have stuff so that made me happy anyway um, I ordered the Dilutions diary set I'm kind of nervous about what I'm going to do with it because I've been wanting it forever like since I saw it and met with her out at uh, Creativation 2017 in the middle of January, <laughs> I wanted it, but I'm like, gosh, I already have a planner and I'm starting a TN. What would I do with another one? But you know, when you think about something for as long as I've been thinking about this, you just do it eventually after three months, you just do it. So I could really use some help with what to do with this because I'm kind of at a quandary right now. So anyway, let's see what I ordered because I kind of forgot. It's like Christmas. Look how nice this is packaged. Really nice. Nice, nice, nice. Love it. I'll just dump it on the floor. You guys don't have to see it. Uh, oh, look at that. And she always has like a little goodie with her things that she sends out. Um, let's see what's in here. It's her little thank you gift and it's really packaged nicely. Totally tearing it apart. Oh, oh, how cool. Oh, I like it. It's um, pipes and oh, how cute is that? Little die cuts that are pipes and whatnot. Oh, how fun is this? Gears. Oh, look at those. I love this. This is so cool. I, my One of my favorite kind of layouts to do is um, more of a grungy layout with metal and stuff. I do much better with masculine layer, layouts, I think, than female layouts, than feminine layouts. So this is just, th that's perfect for me. I love it. So cool. And that was just a little freebie as a thank you. The, um, let me put her information right here. This is who she is. It's Linda Coughlin is the owner and that is where you can find her. Her stuff is really good guys. Like she has great customer service fast and the prices are really reasonable. So let's open it. Oh it's that Christmas. I totally forgot what I ordered. Oh yes, the little one in Jinx. I actually have a big one of this that I thought was so cool. And then I realized that the stamps are so huge I couldn't use it. So these little ones I just love. I can take them with me. They fit a little dabber in the back just perfectly. And these are her signature colors, bubblegum, dirty martini, um, the teal, and then the, the black marble. And this is the Dilutions. So this is nice. I didn't, I forgot that I ordered those. I went back and forth. Okay, and then here is the um, creative tape, the Wasi tape. And from what I understand, this Wasi tape is actually her patterns that she has created and they just brought it down. Oh, and it, oh, I'm so crazy. Look at that. There's a dispenser on the side. I totally beat up my box. That's okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just duct tape it. But look at that. Isn't that cool? So you can just keep it out and you can, and it will dispense on its own. That is freaking awesome. How you don't have to tear it. You can just use this little thing, line them all up. See that? Look. Boop. Totally just tore off. 
like a tape dispenser. I've never seen that before. That's really awesome. I love that. Makes it easy to travel with, which I do in the summer. Bubble wrap. This is exciting because I can do things with bubble wrap. Okay. Let's see what this is. You guys mind if I just set the box down because it's kind of in my way? There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at all this fun stuff, you guys. <gasps> oh, I died. Okay. Here are the clips. I have been lusting out for these. These are really hard to find online. In fact, I've checked a couple times with the Funky Junkie before I made up my mind if I was going to buy it or not, and they were totally sold out. And this is the first time they've actually had them in stock. But these are all her little patterns that she did. Really nice, durable clips. Those are so cute. I absolutely love them. Okay, and then these are the die cuts. And this is from the Creative Diary line of Dilution. I almost didn't get these because I have a lot of her coloring sheets and I'm like, well, why would I want those? But I don't know, they're really fun. So it looks like there's two of that one. And then two of this one. Two of this one. This is cool. I like them because they're on a smaller scale. Looks like there's two of everything. So I can take them with me and if I'm in the passenger seat, back seat driving, I can totally color them. They're small enough where you can do that. Take out the book that you're reading. You know, I, I do. I carry books or your Kindle and just use that as your um, clipboard or something to color on. Oh my God, look at that. He is so handsome. Oh, look at this hot little kitty. Oh, I so almost said something else, but I'm trying to keep it G-rated. This one. And if you don't know anything about this line, um, Diane, her name is Diane, D-Y-A-N. She draws all of these. So these are all her drawings. And this whole line is made for the diary. So there's quite a bit of selection in here so that these are these are really fun so it's 12 different patterns um two of each so there's 24 pieces total 12 times 2 is 24. i used to teach math so i'm so glad i still know how to multiply just kidding i'm sarcastic not sorry about that really okay so See what else we have here I'm gonna get them totally not together now but it, it seems as though it is printed on a nice mixed media card stock I think that this probably can handle paint um, watercolor pencils colored pencils Copic whatever you choose it, it's very sturdy and they really weren't all that expensive Okay, this the next thing was expensive and I went back and forth, but I really like her black and white ones or the paint pins. So these are actually her paint and pin form. There is a special technique to use them. Um, so you'll need to uh, look up her YouTube video in which she shows you how to do it. She also shows how to do it, the creativation, when they first came out with those black and white paint pins. But these are the color ones, um, which are her popular colors. So that's really cool. And she does have on the back, the directions on how to start it. So if you get these, make sure you follow them. They're not cheap pins. I think that they're over 16 or $17 for the set. So make sure you really want them. This I'm excited about. She is not a card maker, but this is all of her. This is her coloring. She, I only got collection two. I didn't get collection three simply because I just didn't want to be that much of a crafty glutton. Um, but these are on a smaller scale of her other illustrations and um, they're made so that you can cut them down and put them into cards. I think that's what these are. Oh, maybe not. That must be the third one. So these are her new, oh, these are cool. These are her new images. Love that. 
this is so okay with me that this isn't the small one. I'll just order the third one. She has another coloring book. It's um, the Collection 3, and they're smaller. There's like four of these image per page, so you can put them on cards. That was her intention. Or ATCs. When in doubt, put a bird on it. Oh, these are so cute, you guys. We are all like a broken, but we are all a little broken, but broken crayons still color. This stamp set I really want. It's so much fun. I will never be a well-behaved woman. That's so cute. Do I look like I care? <laughs> I love it. Get your head out of your ass. It's not a hat. That rocks. Be you. The world will adjust. Amen to that. I don't know where you got your opinion from, but I hope you kept the receipts. Just that cute little girl. My brain has too many tabs open. <laughs> Stable is a place where horses live. <laughs> Aim into that. I actually have some of those sentiment stamps that my friend Mary gave me. This one says, life is hard. Your art shouldn't be. Change for no one and believe in who you are. So anyway, these are really cute. I'm excited I got them. I'm going to have to get collection three, though, the ones that are on a smaller scale um, for card making and ATCs. But this is cool. I'm excited because it's her new stuff. Okay, you guys, I almost didn't get this because I thought that for stickers they were really expensive. They were $13.59. I think that the average price of a sticker book from Michaels and Joann's is like seven or eight bucks. However, I just had to do it. I was thinking, you know, at Etsy stores, they, they charge like, gosh, 10 to $13 for a set of stickers. Um, so, you know, this, I just put it into comparison of, with that. And I, I just like, I love her stuff. She's so out of the box for me. She really challenges me, um, creatively and from an artistic point of view. And so I just, I felt like I needed them. So let's just take a look inside to see why they're so expensive. First of all, there's 24 pages of stickers. I'm going to bring this down a little so I don't have to hold it up. And I'll show you that way. Okay, so here's some journaling ones. Black and white. I think you can color these. Some more black and white ones. Some like nice little reminder ones. To-do list ones. Lots of those. Oh, some really fun sayings like, um, don't want to go. Seriously, no chills. Hell yes, not likely. To don't, to do, never. Remember, not important. <laughs> Whenever, how about never, important, just be, don't forget, time for a drink, as if, hell no. <laughs> Note to self, keep it real, no way, make it happen, live, laugh, love, now what? Get over it. <laughs> Get on with it. Eat the cake. <laughs> Those are so great. Oh, these are cool. You can color them in and these are her illustrations. That's really nice. More of her illustrations. Oh, this is awesome, you guys. Okay, heads up. She has a really cool stamp set um, for her diary that is the months and the dates. And I thought about purchasing it, but then I changed my mind because I remember that this had the months in it. I'm only going to use the stamp probably once um, for just the journal. So this is all I need. So save yourself a dollar or two and just get this. And then look, she has it even smaller. So that's awesome. So if you get this, you don't really need the stamp set. And then these are based off of her. Looks like it's the, her stick it or her sticky notes. So that's cool. Now that I'm looking through this, I think that it's really a great deal. Because I didn't have to buy the stickets, which is the sticky notes. I didn't have to buy the date and month calendar the calendar one um here's some borders so this is actually a really good deal guys this is this is legit i'm glad i did this 
Plus, I wanted it, and I told myself I was going to do an unboxing for you, and so you guys pushed me over the edge to do it, because I knew in order to do a good unboxing, I had to get it, just to see, because nobody really sees what's in it. Some more border stuff. Totally color with this. And is that the last page? Yep, okay. So that's that. Now, the fun part. Oh my god, the creative diary. This may just look like a diary on the outside, but wait until you see what's on the inside. This is flipping amazing. And it's not that pricey, I don't think, for what you get. I'm just going to take this off because it's mine. All right. Nice little pocket over here to hold your stuff. Check it out, you guys. Look at this. These are all her images. This is the stuff that she created. And then look, Monday, Tuesday, and then over here it's blank. So all the days of the week, however, they're not dated. It doesn't say January 1st. You can do it however you want it. So if you use this for a couple weeks, decide to put it down, get your TN out, that's cool. So my question is, what am I going to do with this? I thought it would be a good creative journal to put my projects in that I'm working on, like you know, a little schedule and then the to do's over here, but I don't know. And then I was thinking it would make a great quote book, but, um, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Like, should it be my appointment book? But then I have to date it all the way out. And I don't know if I want to do that, but look at these images. I mean, this is pretty cool. You know, I mean, it's, freaking awesome and everything coordinates so I'm just gonna show you I'm just gonna do a quick flip through so you can just see it god this is so cool like she did all of this and she said that these kind of go with they totally all go everything goes together I really like the layout of this I don't know you guys I don't know what I'm gonna do all I know is one of us is right and the other one is you Ooh, burn so you can like do art on this side you can do art journaling on this side and then like your agenda on this side you could do your exercise journal in here and your art on this side if your calorie counting do your total calories here then do your therapy art on this side because God knows I need it so I don't know. I could really use some suggestions on what to do because I use the happy planner and I like that more for the monthly overview, but I kind of like this for the weekly spread because I can take it with me. And when I'm waiting in line to pick up kids, because I spend a lot of time in the car waiting for kids to get out of school, I could totally doodle in it. But this would be a great appointment journal for the week where I write it down on my happy planner first because I don't want to go too far out because I really don't want to have to do more than a week at a time. Oh, this is so cute. It looks like it just kind of keeps repeating itself. A couple of the same images over and over again. I believe there are 52 weeks in this. So it is for a whole year. Um, but, I mean, that's still love that. This is just so cool. I can't wait to put my stuff on top of it that I do, you know. What a great base. How cool is this? Yeah, it's just kind of the same. Over and over. So there's 56 double-sided printed pages. And the back says, the perfect combination of weekly planning and art journaling, the Dilution Creative Di Diary, includes weekly agenda pages, Dilution background and coloring sheets for on-the-go creativity. Features a lightweight version of the same great mixed media card stack found in other Dilution Creative journals. You can use it with the Dilution ink, sprays, paints, stencils, stamps, and other accessories. So, something to think about. If you don't journal, this is a great, I think this is a great first journal to do because the week, if you notice, the uh, you're not too committed. It's not too big. I like that. The happy planner I like, but there's just so, I mean, 
it's just so much for one day. I, if I get too overly organized like that, I get nothing accomplished and I feel like a failure. So this is great. Um, I really am digging on this and you know, it all, it all kind of goes together, you know, um, well, it all does go together, not kind of, but it does. So this is my happy mail, my unboxing. And again, it's from the funky junkie. If you're interested, go check them out. They're really awesome. Um, but I just wanted to share this cause I haven't seen an up close personal, uh, view of it. Even when I was at Creativation, I didn't see it as close and personal as this. So I um, hope you enjoy it and happy crafting until next time. Oh, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do so and like the video and share. See ya. Bye.